In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix graphics issues with Need for Speed Unbound on a Windows 10 and 11 PC. So if you're getting a black screen when trying to play the game, or DirectX errors, or you have an FPS drop in the game, or the graphics within the game while you're playing just don't look as they should, then there's a few things that we can do to resolve these issues. So before we get started, I just want to say I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that we will do that I will add more methods to if I can think of any that I wasn't able to add to this video. So the first thing that we want to do is update DirectX. So there's two ways to update DirectX in Windows. The first way is through Windows Updates, which will update DirectX 12, and then we need to manually download a setup file to update the rest of the DirectX files. So to update Windows, all you need to do is right click on the Start menu icon and go to Settings. We then need to click on Update and Security, and you then need to click on the Check for Updates button. So once Windows has finished updating, you now need to click on the link that's in the description below to go to the Microsoft website. You will then end up on a page that looks like this. You need to select your language and you then need to click download. Once the file has finished downloading, go ahead and run the setup file. You will now have a window that looks like this. You now need to agree to the terms. If you do, click on I accept and go next. If you want to install the Bing bar, then you can keep this box ticked. I don't want to. So we can now click on next and it will now check to see if it can detect any new DirectX files for your Windows computer. Once this is finished, click on finish, and the next thing that you need to do is ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. If you're not sure what graphics card you have, you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to device manager. Next, you need to expand display adapters, and as you can see, I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super, which means I would need to go to the NVIDIA website and download the latest driver for my graphics card. I will pop some links in the description below on how you can update an NVIDIA, AMD or an Intel graphics card if you're not sure on how to do this. So now that you've updated DirectX and also your graphics card driver, go ahead and try Need for Speed Unbound and see if that resolved the graphical issues you've been having. If it didn't, then the next thing that you want to do if you're using a high resolution is lower the resolution. And we can do this by right clicking on the desktop and then go into display settings. You then need to scroll down and you will then see display resolution. So as you can see, I'm currently using 1920 by 1080. So I could easily lower this down to 1280 by 960 or something like that. Once you have lowered the resolution, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then you can just turn the resolution back up to what it was previously on. So the next thing that we want to do is open up File Explorer. So we now want to clear some cache files. Once you have File Explorer open, you now need to go to the location where you have Need for Speed Unbound installed. You will now see a massive list of different folders and files. We need to open up the shader cache folder. Once you're in this folder, you now need to remove the files that are within it. And don't worry, these are only temporary files as they are within the cache folder, which means that removing them won't affect the game, they will just be recreated. So we can now right click on the files and then just simply go delete. You might have more files than what I did in the folder, as it depends on how far you've gone into the game and when the last time the cache files got removed. So now that we've cleared them out in the Need for Speed Unbound folder, which is located within your EA Games folder, we now need to open up our Documents folder. You then need to open up the Need for Speed Unbound folder and you will then again see a cache folder. You need to open this and you then need to select the files again, right click and you then need to go delete. Now that we cleared the cache for the game, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped resolve the issues you've been having. If it didn't, then the next thing that we want to do is keep File Explorer open and you now need to select your documents again. You then need to go into the Need for Speed Unbound folder and you then need to open up the Settings folder. Once you're within the Settings folder, you will now see a Profile Options file. In fact, you should see two. So what we want to do is just simply right click on the first file, the Profile Options, and we then need to go Rename. And you're now going to type BK on the end of the file. You then need to click and you then need to do the same for the Profile one. Right click again, go rename, and then go BK. Once you've done that, now go ahead and launch the game 
and this will reset all your in-game settings for Need for Speed Unbound. So if you did change a load of settings within the game, especially settings for your graphics, the game might not be liking the settings that you changed or your computer, which was causing it to black screen and crash. So by restoring the original default values, and that will hopefully resolve the issue you've been having with the game when it comes to the graphics. If it didn't help, then you can always remove the new files that got created and then just rename the files back. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. Like I said at the start of the video, I will pop link in the description below. So check that out if the methods in this video didn't unfortunately help you. So if you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.